welcome once again to another tale. This is the second one from the new abode. I've still made zero progress. I got Sweet Rodney Dangerfield poster up. Daredevil, always cool. All my action figures and stuff. Oh yeah, just what the ladies like. Lots of nerdy, nerdy shit. Xbox and TV setting up, holding it down. Alright, tonight I'm going to bring you a tale and also an explanation of a very, very important landmark in the world of Brogetto. <clears throat> the Camper of Doom. It's one of the places where when I was growing up, everyone had sex in that camper. I lost my virginity in that camper. Well, no I didn't. I lost my virginity in my basement. Oh well, still an important place. Okay. This camper was like an old 1960s style two-person camper, really small, really private, good soundproofing, good for sneaking outside with a girl while the parents were in the house. Awesome times. Everybody fucked in that camper. My cousin Jason, all his friends, uh, we had people live in that camper. I'm sure they got it on plenty. It was just a crazy, crazy, crazy place. And I'm sure once uh, it was destroyed because it was burned in a fire, lots of sex demons rose up out of the ashes. So, today's story is the uh, very painful broken pinky shocker. Okay. So while I was in high school, I uh, messed around with this chick. We'll call her Cynthia. Cynthia. But anyway, we uh, we messed around a lot in the camper because uh, she didn't live that far and she would sneak over there and then I would sneak out at night and uh, we would uh, get down. And like I learned a lot of the sex stuff that I know from this girl. So I... Even though she's a big skis, always has a very special place in my heart, and I wish her the best. But anyway, this particular time, I had been perusing the internet, and I came across a site called collegehumor.com, and they had a, like at the time, they were the big thing was the shocker, and like they had a foam hand that was in the form of the shocker, and the two finger, fingers were pink, and the pinky was brown, and I thought it was hilarious. And I got thinking to myself, I was like, does anyone actually do this? Like, is this an actual thing that, like, girls would like? So, using the primitive 2002 internet, I looked around and found out, yes, it is a very, if done correctly, can be very pleasurable for the young lady in question. So, me being the gentleman I am, decided I want Cynthia to get all the pleasure that I can possibly give her. Yes, ladies, I'm a giver, big time. But anyway, so she came over that night, and uh, we were uh, messing around, and I was giving her the old bang, bang, finger bang, and uh, one thing led to another, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a shot, unknowing that I should have probably let her in on this. But I didn't. So I, uh... Two fingers in. A little swirl action. She's loving it. But then, this guy, he's like, knocking on the back door. And at first, she doesn't notice anything. Like, I'm being real subtle about it. And then, I'm just like, fuck it. Go all for it. And I go in. And that gets in. And... She freaks. She tenses up. And she moved in such a way that it it broke my pinky. Like, straight up. Just my pinky's broken. And so, I'm stuck in there. She, her butthole won't let go. It's like a goddamn Chinese finger trap. And she's freaking out and flailing all over the place. And I'm trying to calm her down. While I'm in an extreme amount of pain. Broken pinky. Covered in butt juice. Not a good time. So, I pull it out and everything gets settled and we're done we're not gonna have sex after that she's kind of upset because she doesn't like butt play and i didn't know that that wasn't a thing that all girls liked because 2002 internet thanks guys and uh and i was too embarrassed to go tell my parents what had happened so i went inside and just didn't say anything about it and tried to sleep with a broken pinky and uh, the next day at school go in, I got my pinky in my hand is just swollen to ridiculous proportions 
and my pinky's all it's still never properly healed right it still clicks when I move it and you can't hear it because I have my awesome fucking high velocity fan kicking out the jams but yeah it's still it never fully healed right and it was swollen and uh my uh, PE coach at the time very unsympathetic to my plight we were playing volleyball and if you know anything about volleyball when you set you pretty much yeah you hit it with your hand and it is not good I'm left handed this is my sex hand this is my jerk hand this is my right hand this is my batting hand this is my hand hand it's the guy so I did it and it made it even worse and that was probably about the worst while it healed incorrectly probably about the worst month of pain I can remember and um, not a good time so had the broken pinky word as a badge of honor still have it still still I don't know if you can tell but it is not right so the lesson to be learned from all this is if you're gonna do the shocker yes it is meant to be shocking and that is the entire point but you just got to tell your ladies, man, because if you just do it, you're going to end up with a battle scar. And I don't recommend that. This has been your humble host, Brogan. Brogetto's Tales of Tragedy. You guys stay beautiful. I'll hit you back soon. Peace.